Hey yogis, welcome to today's practice. Today's practice, the patio edition, because of all the strange times going on, it's a perfect place for us to create a home, a personal practice. Today, it's gonna be a vinyasa flow, breath to movement. And when we focus on our breath and we move our body, something magical happens. We create this internal awareness. We still the mind and we bring our body into a natural healing state. Remember, wherever we are in our practice, the postures, they're a guide. Listen to your body, most important thing, and just do what feels good. If our breath is escaping us, it's okay. We take child's pose. Even if you want to sit and just focus on the breath, the breath today is the most important part. Now let's start nice, comfortable, cross-legged seated position. And we place the palms facing up on the knees. Connect the thumb and index finger and close the eyes. We start first by really letting go, by not controlling anything. And as we sit, with our eyes closed, our mind, it likes to wander. Try and just let go of the thoughts. We watch them almost like cars on a highway. One catches our attention. We let it go off into the distance. And as we sit, we tell ourselves we're exactly where we need to be right here and right now. And bringing our awareness down to the feet. Remember, wherever you are, easiest way to become present, we focus on sensations that we're currently feeling in the body. Feel the mat beneath the feet. Feel the skin as it touches the mat, the sensation. And as we focus on the feet, can you bring those sensations through the shins, over the knees? Now feel ourselves rooting down into our sit bones. Form a grounding sensation. Root down into your mat. And as you root down, maybe the spine sits a little straighter, shoulders a little broader, crown of the head sits a little taller. Taking a big breath here through the nose, fill the lungs to the top, and then we hold the breath. This kumbhaka, breath retention, expands our body, creates space inside, energizes the blood. Exhale out the mouth. Another big inhale through the nose, fill the lungs, ribs expand, and at the top we hold. And this space inside, not only created for air, but for life force, that prana. Exhale out the mouth. Sealing our lips and beginning to cultivate what we call our ujjayi breath. Ujjayi breath, slight constriction of the back of the throat. Think about those muscles you use when you want to fog up a mirror or your sunglasses, that but we keep the mouth sealed. Every inhale, every exhale, a beautiful sound of a wave of the ocean entering and leaving the body. And we keep this breath through our entire practice today, breathing in and out through the nose. Bringing our palms to kiss, holding them heart center, Anjali Mudra. Let's set an intention, a dedication for today's practice. This can always be a thought, a feeling. Maybe it's for somebody special in our life. Remember, intention, it's so important. During our practice, your mind, it's going to wander, but that's okay. Use the intention as a root, as an anchor. When the mind wanders, bring it back to this intention and bring it back to the beautiful sound of your breath here today. As we sit and think hard about that intention, 
Take a big inhale through the nose. Exhale it out the mouth, releasing it out into the universe. Starting our Ujjayi breath, sealing the lips, eyes flutter open. Rolling over the knees, coming into a nice neutral tabletop to start our practice. Palms right underneath the shoulders, fingers wide, knees underneath the hips. Wherever we are, always try and root down into the earth, whatever connects first. As you root down through the fingers, inner biceps gently roll forward. This helps bring our shoulders down the back. And with an inhale, we drop the belly. We lift the hips, the heart, and the gaze. Exhale, round the spine. Push the earth away. Gaze to the belly. Inhale, belly drops. Hips, heart, and gaze lift. Really open the heart to the front. Exhale, round the spine, push the earth away, gaze to the belly. Inhale, belly drops, hips, heart, and gaze lift, taking the next two now. Following your own breath. Remember, we're linking the breath to movement here. Try and let that breath initiate the asana. Let it start the movement and link that breath to the movement all the way till it stops. Next time. You return to the belly dropped, gaze lifted position. Tuck the toes, float the knees, shins, hips up and back for our first downward dog of today. First downward dog, so nice we invite movement into this asana, wagging the hips, maybe pedaling out the feet. Fingers nice and wide, palms right in line with the shoulders. Really root those knuckles down, ground the fingers into the mat, into the earth. We want to alleviate any pressure on the crease of the wrist by really rooting the fingers down. Feet in line with those hips. And maybe we start extending one heel a little further down. Extending the other heel a little further down as we come into a moment of stillness here. Thighs engage, hips up and back. Bending the knees, gazing towards the hands, walking the feet right behind the palm. With an inhale, halfway lift, nice long spine. Fingertips to the earth, earth shins, thighs engage. Exhale, forward fold, crown of the head reaches down. With an inhale, we rise vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly coming up, really rooting into the feet, connecting down, spine balance in the center. We get to the top, arms reach up overhead, watch those palms kiss. Exhale, hands to the heart, samastitihi. Rooting through the feet, inhale, palms reach up, watch them kiss overhead. Exhale, folding at the hip, Uttanasana, crown of the head reaches forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift, a nice long spine, thighs are strong. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, holding a nice high plank, palms right underneath the shoulders. Really root down through those fingertips, belly stays engaged. Thighs are strong as you press down into the balls of the feet, into the palms. Can you imagine the back of the heart lifting towards the sky? We could always drop the knees. We could always drop the forearms if there's any pain in the wrists. Very nice. Inhale, shifting forward on our tippy toes. Exhale, halfway down. Chaturanga Dandasana, shoulders in line with the elbows. Tops of the feet go down. Arms extend up dog. Shoulders stack over the wrists. Exhale, rolling over the toes, downward facing dog. Five nice long breaths. Hips up and back, thighs engage, breathing deep. Remember that ujjayi, it lights a fire inside you. That fire we call our agni, that agni helps create the prana, that life force, that energy to flow throughout the body. As you pay attention to those knuckles, root down right in between that thumb and index finger, rotating the inner biceps a little forward, helping those shoulders down the back. Bending the knees, gazing towards the hands, walking the feet right behind the palms. Inhale, halfway lift, a nice long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising a little faster now. Arms reach up overhead, watch those palms kiss. 
Exhale, hands to the heart. Samastitihi. Time to flow that sequence. Breath to movement. Surya Namaskar A. Saluting the sun. Inhale, palms reach up. Watch them kiss overhead. Exhale, folding at the hip. Uttanasana. Crown of the head reaches forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift. Long spine, thighs are strong. Exhale, plant the hands. Step it back. Halfway down. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Open the heart, shoulders broad. Exhale, rolling over the toes. Downward facing dog. Gazing to our hands. Step, jump, float, walk our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Root through the feet, inhale, rising all the way up. Maybe tiny back bend at the top as the palms kiss. Exhale, forward fold. Uttanasana, thighs are strong, heart opens. Inhale, halfway lift, a long spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, halfway down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog, thighs are lifted, shoulders broad. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Gazing to the hands, step, jump, float our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Root through those feet. Inhale, rise up. Reach past the fingers as the palms kiss. Exhale, hands to the heart. Samastitihi. Bending the knees. Ukatasana, chair pose. First, taking a peek down at the toes. Can you see them past the knees? If not, shins, hips a little further back. Gently lift the toes. Find four connections in the feet, one in each corner, and then we can keep the toes lifted or bring them down to the earth. Thighs stay strong, belly tucks in. Arms are up and the pinkies wrap forward, bringing the shoulders down the back. Belly is strong elongating the spine, reaching up through the crown of the head even though we're sitting down. One more deep breath here. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, nice long spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step it back, halfway down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog, shoulders broad, heart open. Exhale over the toes, downward facing dog. And we hold three nice long breaths. As you breathe deep, hips lift up and back, those thighs engage, gazing towards the heels for a moment. If you can see the heels, slight internal rotation of the thighs, the heels should begin to hide behind our calves. One more long cycle of breath. Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Toes flexing, pointing down. We want the hips nice and square. We, doesn't matter how high we lift the leg. Flexing the foot, really pointing those toes towards the earth. Trying to find balance between that bottom leg and our two front palms. Inhale, lifting a little higher from the inner thigh. Exhale, stepping the foot right in between the hands, holding a nice little low running lunge. Knee stacks over that ankle. Pressing back through the heel. Maybe we come up to the fingertips. We gently lift the heart. Nice smooth breath. Long inhale. Exhale, back foot goes down 90 degrees. And with an inhale, we rise for our warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Front knee sits right over the ankle. Beautiful line from the heel in the front to the arch in the back foot. Our arms are at a T and we're gazing over the middle finger. We relax the shoulders, our belly tucks in. Strong stance, remember, connect into the earth first, find stability. Then use the breath, guide the body into its most optimal position. One more inhale. Exhale, shifting forward, hovering over that front thigh. Front arm bends, rests on the thigh, back arm up to the sky, Parjvakanasana. 
we can stay here. Option one. Option two. Bottom hand goes inside the foot. Shoulders stack and we gaze up towards the top hand unless there's any pain in the neck. Really root down through that back foot. Feel the pinky edge rooting down into the earth. Our hips, they want to sink. Engage the legs. Lift the body just slightly. Very nice. Rooting down. Big breath in. Exhale, rise up, warrior two. Front palm flips to the sky and we lift it up and back, reversing the warrior. Doesn't matter how far we lift, but we want to be extending both sides of our body up towards the sky. Back hand can go on the thigh, the calf. Maybe it wraps the lower back. Think reaching up and back. Nice, smooth breath. Front knee bends over the ankle. We tend to lose it. Big breath in. Exhale, cartwheeling the hands, stepping back halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Open the heart, shoulders broad. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Toes flexing, pointing down. Find strength, back leg, strong, root into the earth through the palms. Find balance as that pinky edge really wraps its way down. Inhale a little higher from the inner thigh. Exhale, left foot steps right in between the hands and we hold a nice low running lunge. Front knee right over the ankle. Maybe we come up to the fingertips, keeping those shoulders broad, heart opens. Press back through that right heel. Use the breath. Guide it towards any sensations in the hip. Nice long inhale. Exhale, back foot goes down 90 degrees and we rise up our warrior two. Vira Bhadrasana two, sink down. Shoulders broad, we gaze over the middle finger. Relax the muscles in the face. Find calm, balance in the body. Remember, when that mind wanders, where did our breath go? One more breath in. Exhale, shift forward, hover over that front thigh. Front arm bends, rest on the thigh, back arm to the sky. Parjvakanasana. Maybe we stayed here. Maybe we took second option, hand inside or outside that front foot. We gaze up towards that top hand, reaching from the back heel through the spine, out the crown of the head, gaining length throughout the body. Very nice. Rooting down. One more breath. Exhale, rise up. Warrior two. Front palm flips up. We lift it back, reversing the warrior. Gaining length through the body, reaching up and back. Front knee bending right over the ankle. Rooting down through the feet. That's where we find our strength, our stability. One more. Inhale, front knee bends a little more. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down, stepping it back. Halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Open the heart. Exhale over the toes, downward facing dog, and we hold three nice long breaths. Remember, we come into the practice with a beginner's mind. Whatever the body, whatever it gives us today, it's a gift. We cherish those movements, those sensations. We're going to start with that sequence, breath to movement flow. Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it right in between the hands. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Exhale, shift forward, Parjvakanasana, side angle. Inhale, up and back, reverse that warrior, reaching up to that top hand. Exhale, cartwheeling the hands down, stepping back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog, open the heart. Exhale, over the toes, down dog. 
Inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot steps right in between the hands. Inhale, we rise, warrior two. Exhale, shift forward, side angle pose. Inhale, up and back, reverse the warrior, reach up to that hand. Exhale, cartwheel the hands, follow the breath, single exhale down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, open the heart. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. One more round. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, step it through in between the hands. Inhale, you rise up, strong stance, feel the earth. Exhale, shift forward, side angle pose. Inhale, up and back, reverse that warrior, reach towards the pop, palm. Exhale, ride the breath down. Chaturanga, follow that single exhale down. Lengthening the breath, inhale, up dog, open the heart. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Last one, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, rise up, strong stance. Exhale, Parjva Konasana, side angle pose. Inhale, up and back, reverse the warrior. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, flow the hands down with the breath. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it in between the hands, this time Coming up on the ball of the back foot, squeezing the inner thighs together. Inhale, you rise. Anjali Asana, crescent lunge. Bending that back knee, bringing the shoulders over the hips, finding balance first. Then we lengthen that back leg as we scoot that front knee right over the ankle. Arms are up, shoulders down the back. Press that left heel back. Find length through the leg. Breathe into any sensations. Inhale, palms kiss, holding heart center. Exhale, shift forward, hover over the thigh. Use the core, twist to the right. Elbow right outside the thigh. Palms press, holding heart center. We can always drop the back knee if we want a little more stability here. If not, we keep the leg lifted. We keep reaching the heart out to the side. Crown of the head reaches forward. And we keep the belly strong. One more, big breath. Exhale, coming back to center. Hands go down inside the front foot, back knee comes down. Heel toe that front foot a little up into the corner of the mat. And we sink the hips down, come into a little stillness. We can come down to the forearms or we stay on the palms, your choice. Most important, those hips lower than the shoulders, that front knee hugging into the shoulder. Breathing deep, maybe you can scoot those left toes a little further back. Remember every breath. Feel the body expand. Feel that awareness inside. Palm by palm, walk the torso. Nice upright position. Back toes tuck, knee comes off the earth. As we press into the palms, can you float that front foot up and back high plank? Rooting down through the palms, roll on the outside of the left foot, right foot stacks on top for our Vashistasana, our side plank. Gazing towards that top hand, legs are engaged, hips lifting up. We could always drop a knee if we'd like a little more support here. Strong legs, lifting through the heart. Nice rainbow arc from the heels out the crown of the head. Inhale, hips a little higher. Exhale, hands coming down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. 
Inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, left foot steps right in between the hands. On the ball of the back, right foot, inhale, you rise. Anjaliasana, crescent lunge. Front knee right over the ankle. And we bend that back knee, float it off the mat. Bring the shoulders over the hips. We lengthen that leg. Arms go up, shoulders down the back. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Very nice. Inhale, palms kiss, heart center. Exhale, shift forward, hover over the thigh. Using our core, we twist to the left, elbow right outside the thigh. Palms pressed together, trying to stack our shoulders the best we can. Rooting down through that foot. Find length through the spine. Even in the twist, we breathe deep. Very nice. One more inhale. Exhale, return to center. Hands inside the front foot. Back knee comes down. Heel toe that front foot up into the corner of the mat. Then we sink the hips down, either staying on the palms, maybe we come down to the forearms. Front knee hugs in towards the shoulder. Always remember to appreciate the stillness in life, in our practice, bringing our awareness back to our breath. Palm by palm, torso starts walking its way, nice upright position. We tuck the toes in the back, lifting the knee. As you press into the palms, can you float that front foot up and back, high plank. Strong belly, we roll on the outside of the right foot, left foot stacks on top, vashistasana, side plank. Lifting the hips up, gazing towards that top hand. Nice strong side bodies here. Rainbow arc from the heels out the crown of the head. Very good. Inhale, hips a little higher. Exhale, hands come down, follow the breath. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog, shoulders broad. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog, and we hold. Three nice long breaths. Hips up and back. Thighs are strong. Really root through those knuckles. Nice straight line from those fingers through the spine up towards the tailbone. As you engage those thighs, can we lift the tailbone a little bit higher towards the sky? Imagine a small string pulling your hips up and back. Bending the knees, gazing towards the hands. Step, jump, float our way to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Heel, the, heel toe the feet together so the big toes kiss. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Ukatasana, chair pose. Fine. Length through the torso. Lifting up through the crown of the head. Pinkies forward, shoulders down the back. Very nice. Inhale, palms kiss, heart center. Exhale, shift forward. Use the core, twist over to the right, elbow right outside the thigh. First, taking a peek at the knees. One knee likes to always scoot ahead. Can you pull it back, making sure both hips, both knees facing forward? And then we breathe deep as we open the heart to the side. One more. Breath in. Exhale. Return to center. Forward fold. Inhale. Halfway lift. Long spine. Heel toe the feet just about in line with the hips. Bend the knees as we're coming to Pada Hastasana. Our Pada's feet are going on the hastas, our hands. Sliding the palm face up underneath the sole of the foot. Bringing the toes to the crease in the wrist. 
Once we find connection with the foot and hand, inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Maybe we lengthen the legs. Exhale, forward fold, crown of the head reaches down. Thighs stay engaged. If there's any trouble with the toes reaching the crease of the wrist, we keep the knees bent, it's okay. Trying to keep the neck long. Smooth breaths, elbows out to the side. One more, inhale. Exhale, rising halfway up, releasing one hand at a time. Heel toeing the feet so the big toes kiss. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Find connection in the feet. Remember, maybe we lift the toes. We find that rooting, then we let the breath guide the body. Inhale, palms kiss, heart center. Exhale, shift forward. Use the core, use the belly. We twist over to the left, elbow right outside the thigh. Long, smooth breaths. Imagining you're breathing from the nose, filling the lungs, breathing that breath all the way down to your toes. One more, inhale. Exhale, return to center, forward fold. Inhale, rooting through the feet, rising all the way up, watching the palms kiss overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart, samastitihi. Heel toeing the feet, almost mat with distance, toes facing out, heels facing in. Palms kiss, heart center, spine stays nice and straight. We take a big inhale. Exhale, sink the hips down, bending the knees, come into a yogi squat, malasana pose. Elbows right inside the thighs, palms pressed together. Maybe we open those hips a little higher as we try and bring the palms a little closer to the heart. Nice long breaths, feeling the sensations throughout our body. Come into a little arm balance for today, kakasana. Crow's pose, bringing our palms foot in front of the shins. And we come up onto the toes. We bend our arms like we're going to do Chaturanga, 90 degrees. We bring the knees right outside the triceps. As we shift the weight forward, we can play around with lifting one toe, one foot at a time. Maybe you lift both feet, come into our crow's pose, our kakasana pose, wherever we are. We find length through the body with every inhale. Feel the expansion, keeping that gaze slightly forward and in down, keeping the neck long. Very nice. One more. Inhale. Exhale, stepping it back halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Thighs lift, heart opens. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, right foot steps right in between the hands. Back foot goes down 90 degrees. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Front leg straightens, keeping that leg long and strong. Arms to a T, inhale. Exhale, shift forward, reach until we can't anymore. Front hand comes down to the shin or earth. Back arm up to the sky. Trikonasana triangle pose. We could shorten our stance if it feels a little better. We want to lengthen both sides of our side body the same. If you feel like you're crunching this lower side, you can come up to the thigh, it's okay. Gazing up towards that top hand, imagine your shoulders resting on a wall behind you. One more, inhale. Exhale, coming up nice and slow. Front foot faces towards the left. Feet are parallel. Arms to a T. Inhale, gaze up to the sky. Exhale, hands coming down to the earth. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen the spine. 
and exhale, forward fold. Crown of the head reaches down for our proserita pose. Outer hips, inner thighs squeeze in towards each other. Keeping balance between the feet, feeling that same pressure on the inside and outside. Head relaxes down. Maybe we shift the weight a little more to the ball of the feet, so we bring the hips right in line with the ankles. One more breath here. Exhale, rising up halfway, hands to the hips. Inhale, rise, nice straight spine. Front foot faces for your warrior two. Big breath in. Exhale, cartwheeling the hands down, stepping back, halfway down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, open the heart, shoulders back. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, stepping right in between the hands, back foot goes down 90 degrees. Inhale, you rise, warrior two. Front leg straightens, nice and long. Inhale, arms to a T. Exhale, shift forward. Reach until we can't anymore. Front hand down to the shin or earth. Back arm up to the sky. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Shoulders are stacked. We're elongating the body over that front leg. Really trying to root down through that front big toe. Pinky in the back. Keeping the thigh strong. Where's the breath? One more, inhale. Exhale, rise up. Front foot faces over to the right. This time clasping the hands behind the back. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift the heart and the gaze to the sky. Exhale, folding at the hip, reach the crown of the head forward and down. Prasarita C. Thighs engage. Knuckles up and over. Trying to relax the shoulders the best we can. Relaxing the top of the head down towards the earth. One more. Long breath here. Exhale, release the hands down, halfway lift, straight spine, hands to the hips, inhale, rising all the way up. Front foot faces forward, bending that knee, warrior two, inhale. Exhale, cartwheeling the hands down, stepping back, halfway down, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog, open the heart, shoulders broad. Exhale, over the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to the right wrist, dropping the shin parallel to the front. Back knee comes down. Front toes flex. This helps protect the joint in our front knee. We gaze over the shoulder out the back. Do we have a nice straight line? Bringing our heart towards center, hips facing forward, setting up for our pigeon pose. Inhale, lift the heart in the gaze. Exhale, palm by palm, walk the body down. Stop wherever there's sensation. Remember, there's no judgment in today's practice in your life. You try and let go of these expectations. Maybe we come down to the forearms. Maybe we come all the way down. I'm trying to keep both our hip bones in line with each other, facing towards the earth. Long, smooth breath. And can we take some time right now, my favorite asana, to let go? Every exhale, we let go. Thinking about something that doesn't belong anymore. Something that no longer serves purpose in our mind, in our body. With every exhale, you watch it. Watch it as it leaves the body. With every exhale, watch it as it leaves your mind. <sighs> T 
Taking two more rounds, just like this. Palm by palm, torso walking its way in nice upright position. We tuck the toes in the back, lift the knee off the earth. As you press into those palms, hug that front knee in towards the heart, round the spine, opening now the hip out to the side. Nice little circles. Clockwise, counterclockwise. Remembering every little circle keeps that hip happy and healthy, lubricating it with synovial fluid. Maybe we open the hip up to the sky, whatever feels good for the body. Just releasing tension. And then we bring the foot down, downward facing dog. One cycle of breath, reaching through the fingers. Thighs are strong, melting the heart maybe a little closer to the leg. And inhale, left leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to the left wrist, shin drops parallel to the front, back knee comes down. Remember, you flex that front foot, protecting the knee, looking over the back shoulder. Do we have a nice straight line out through those toes? Bringing our hips to face forward, lifting the heart and the gaze, inhale. Exhale, walking the torso down. Stopping wherever the sensation. Maybe it's a little different on this side and that's okay. And now that we've got space, now that we've let go, can we fill that space? A little joy, a little happiness. As you think about a moment, a time in life, a person, something where you remember joy. And as you think, remember and visualize the physical sensations. Remembering how it felt on our skin the warm sensation in the heart, that light inside the body. And with every breath, try and breathe those sensations in through the nose. Visualize them going through the body all the way to the fingers, all the way to our toes. Taking Two more rounds, just like this. Palm by palm, torso walks its way, nice upright position. Back toes tuck, knee comes off the earth. As we press into the palms, hug that front knee into the heart, rounding the spine. We open the hip out to the side. Nice little circles here. Clockwise, counterclockwise, releasing that tension. Maybe that hip opens to the sky. And coming back, downward facing dog. One cycle of breath, hips are strong, lifting towards the sky as you reach through those knuckles. Bending the knees, bringing them down to the earth. Big toes kiss, feet out to either side, extending them out to the front, coming into a nice seated position. Taking a little bit of bum out from either side, this really helps root our sit bones down, toes flexing back to the face. Palms in line with the hips, shoulders broad, really opening the heart here. Dandasana staff pose. Trying to flex those toes, thighs engage, root down from the heels through the back of the legs into our hips. Little to no pressure in the palms. Belly tucks in. As you press down with the body, with every breath, feel the energy coming up through the spine all the way up to the crown of the head.
Inhale, palms reach up. Exhale, reaching for the toes, Paschimottanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, nice long spine. And exhale, forward fold. Crown of the head, reaching forward and then down. Remember, it's not about how far we reach today. We stop wherever there's sensation. We keep the thighs engaged. We keep the heart reaching forward. Keeping the spine long, it helps to gaze at the toes. This is called padadrishti. Every inhale, try and gain a little length. Every exhale, folding a little deeper. Big breath in. Exhale, rising up. Nice straight spine. Bending the knees, lifting the shins off the earth, coming into Navasana boat pose. Palms right behind the knees, option one. Option two, we float the hands in line with the shins. Option three, that spicy version, we lengthen the legs. Belly tucks in, shoulders broad. We want to be lifting up through the spine, keeping it nice and straight. Very good. Feel the earth beneath the hips. Big breath in. Crossing at the shins, bringing the knees to the heart, hands by our side, keeping the legs lifted, we pick up or press down. Coming in, Navasana number two. Belly strong, thighs engage. Lift up through the heart. Keeping our breath smooth, nice and long. Very good, inhale. Crossing at the shins, legs stay lifted, knees to the heart, picking up or pressing down. Last one. Here we go. Navasana number three. This one we hold. Five minutes. Just kidding. Hopefully you guys got a little laugh, smiling. So nice. Relaxes the nervous system, calms the body. One more. Inhale a little higher. Exhale. Slowly bring it down. Belly strong. Laying on the back. Ooh, bending the knees, bringing the hips so that the feet are right in line with the hips. Palms down by our side, setting up for our bridge pose. You should be able to touch the heels. And as we root through the feet, through the palms, inhale, hips lift up to the sky. Option one here. Option two, roll one shoulder at a time behind the back, clasping our hands. Lifting up through the hips, through the heart. Nice space between the chin and the chest, keeping a nice natural curve to our neck. Inner thighs, gently squeezing together. Imagine you've got an invisible block that you're squeezing in between the legs. Very good. Inhale, hips a little higher. Exhale, release the hands. Roll it down, one vertebrae at a time, slowly bringing it down to the mat. Very nice. Letting the spine first naturally relax down, bringing our soles of the feet to kiss. Knees spread wide. We place one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly, closing our eyes. Supta Baddha Konasana. So I always say, where our awareness goes, our energy flows. Can we direct that awareness right now into love? The love inside our body. Feeling that love for the special people in our life. Maybe family, mom, dad, brother, sister, wife, child. Feeling that love inside that we have for ourselves. Every breath, focus that awareness into the love inside your heart, feeling it grow stronger, bigger with every breath.
now, focusing that awareness on the breath. Every inhale, puff the belly out to the sky, feeling that breath as it fills the entire body. Exhale, let it all go, all the way down, all the way from the pit of the belly, almost so much at the end, you engage the muscles. Inhale, belly grows, lifting it up to the sky, filling every inch of body. Exhale, let it all go, releasing every drop of air. Taking the next few rounds, your own pace, but watching the breath. Always letting the breath be our guide, our guide in life. We cherish moments, good moments as they come into our life. But we learn to not hold on. We learn to let go. These good, these bad moments, we let them go. Because everything that we hold on to, in the end, it becomes toxic. Gently floating our feet off the mat, reaching for the outside of our feet, bringing our knees out to the side, setting up for our happy baby pose, trying to root the spine from our tailbone all the way up to the back of the head. And once we find connection there, maybe we begin to rock from side to side. Releasing any tension. Maybe we can get our knees a little bit closer down to the earth on the side. If you were like my baby, maybe you want to stick your foot in your mouth. <laughs> Just kidding. Making our way back to center. Closing our knees like a book right in front of the heart, reaching the arms around the shins, making a nice little ball here. And keep that right knee hugged into the heart. Extend the left leg out to the front, resting it down onto the mat. Inhale, right knee lifts a little higher. Exhale, right knee crosses the body. Arms go down at a T. And we gaze over to the right. Supine twist. Shoulders rooting down. It's more important to have the back of the heart, the shoulders down, than it is to have this knee over to the side. We really want to connect into the earth. We want to find that balance, that grounding sensation, as we feel the weight of the earth beneath us. Making our way back to center. Knees coming back to the heart, wrapping the arms around the shin, little ball. Maybe we can connect the forehead to the tops of the knees. Left knee stays into the heart, right leg extends, resting it down into the mat. Inhale, left knee a little higher. Exhale, left knee crosses the body. Arms go down at a T, and we gaze over to the left. Watching our breath expand our body. Every inhale, we still lengthen. We grow. Every exhale, we surrender down. We surrender into our breath. We surrender into our body. Knees coming back to heart center. Wrap the arms around the shins. Nice little ball here. We take a big inhale, fill the body with breath, and at the very top, we hold the breath. We're coming back, 
back into that kumbhaka full circle in our practice. Except now as you hold the breath, can you engage every muscle in the body? The core, the thighs, the toes, the muscles in our face, in our fingers. Everything's strong, everything's engaged. And we're holding for three. For two, can you squeeze it any harder? For one, and release. <sighs> Legs extend out to the front. Maybe our feet flop out to either side. We bring the palms down, letting them face up. As we close our eyes, we come back. down to our calm, our natural state. We start by releasing control. Release any control you've had over your muscles today. Releasing any control over our breath. Letting it all return back down. We visualize the body as it gets heavier. Starting at our ankles, to our knees, our thighs rooting down. Feeling from our hips, through our spine, those shoulders connecting into your mat. Feeling the back of the arms, the palms. as we relax the muscles in the eyes, in the mouth, in the face. Really making this time in this moment all about you. With a calm body and a calm mind. Shavasana. Starting to deepen our breath 
inviting life back into our bodies. Wiggling the fingers, the toes, inviting life back into our muscles. Reaching the arms up and overhead. Nice morning stretch, lengthening through the fingers, through the toes. Gently lifting the knees towards the heart. As you roll over to the right side, cradling the head with the bottom arm, we close the eyes as we come into a moment, a moment of gratitude. Can you start by telling yourself, thank you for taking the time, the time today to do something that was good for my body. Can you tell yourself, thank you for taking the time for doing something that was good for my mind. And can we think about two things, two things in our life today, two things that we are just truly, truly grateful for. Keeping the eyes closed, awareness inside. Slowly make your way back up. Nice, comfortable, cross-legged seated position. Bring the thumb and index finger to kiss. This time palms facing down on the knees. My favorite way to end a practice. This roots the energy down the base, connects us a little more with the earth. Let's take one cycle of breath here. bringing the palms to kiss, holding heart center. I'd like to leave you a little words of wisdom today from Lao Tzu. When we realize that nothing is lacking, the whole world, it belongs to you. Let's seal our practice together. Let's seal it with a nice big om and three shantis for peace. Feel free to clear your throat. Taking a nice big inhale for Om. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Little smile on our face. Loka. Sammasta suki no bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free. Divine light in me bows to the divine light in you. Namaste. I thank you for watching this video. It's been a pleasure to share my practice. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for watching.